Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Oil Rush by Unigen, available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Unigen describes Oil Rush as a naval strategy game that takes place in a world where nuclear war has melted the ice caps, changing the face of the planet forever. Oil Rush offers unique gameplay, avoiding micromanagement of every single unit while still providing full control over all important aspects of strategy and economy. Capture, upgrade, and defend floating production platforms and oil rigs, discover new technologies, and send squads of naval and air units into the battle. That is a pretty accurate description. As the name says, this is a rush game. Build up units at your base and send them out to take over enemy bases. The game plays a lot like Galcon by Phil Hasse Games, but there are a number of different units and upgrades which shake things up quite a bit. Base defenses can also be constructed, giving an undefended base a chance of survival against surprise attacks. Obviously the graphics have been upgraded too. They're very detailed and well drawn. They do a great job of conveying the post-apocalyptic feeling of oil rush. They generally run smoothly, but they might be a challenge for some low-end computers. The mouse and keyboard controls work pretty well, but they can be a bit feisty when it comes to deploying your fleets to invade enemy bases. I often found myself instructing my fleet to attack and staring in disbelief as the ships stubbornly stayed put. Too bad you can't shoot them for cowardice. All in all, I enjoyed my time with Oil Rush. It's a fun, well-polished game with a whole lot of great features that propel it above the wide selection of Rush games out there. I think the price is a bit steep at $19.99 US, but it goes on sale regularly for half and even quarter of that. So it's well worth picking up on Steam next time you see it on sale. And drag the cursor over the marked platforms. Send the whole fleet to capture the raider's platform. platforms, press zero. To focus the camera on the least defended platform, press V.
more, and we'll have barrels of oil the trader demanded. his oil got coordinates of the Raiders base commander a minefield is detected that's why he gave away the location of the base so easily most of the units under your command will be wasted to clear the way but you have to do it sir I've got an idea let's use their own weapon against them I can sneak to their shacks on the Zeppelin we've captured problem is its weak guns can't cause any serious damage. Good idea. Don't attack them. Just set the mark for the napalm strike. We'll burn them to ashes. Roger that. Using a Zeppelin. Hover over each of the raiders' shacks until napalm strikes. If sent separately from the fleet, Flying units can reach any platform, as they are not limited by available sea routes. severe storms. How the hell does this wobbling piece of garbage fly at all? I think I'm gonna puke all over the place.
Napalm is ready for the next strike. Burn them! Napalm is ready for the next strike. Napalm is ready for the next strike. Burn them! Napalm is ready for the next strike. Burn them! Ash to ash, no sign of threat. Our home waters are secured. It's good to see you cope with the tasks, Kevin. By the way, kill the deserter and get the oil back. It must not be wasted on traitors.